Hello, beautiful people. So, I want to speak and share about a moment in time that happened um, 12 years ago, but that really um, led me to what I'm doing today and what I do today. So, picture this. It was August of 2009. Um, I was in Manchester. Um, I'd had quite a depressing time in Manchester. I was feeling very lost and confused. I was there for a year working with Hilton. And in this memory, I there's a week, only a week before I moved to London to start a new career as a personal trainer. And I'm sat in um, an office in the sexual health clinic in Manchester Hospital. And I was feeling nervous and I was feeling isolated and I was feeling alone and a bit confused as well as to what was going on. I was invited, asked to um, go to the sexual health clinic after some tests. And I was sat on the chair in my Hilton uniform, which at the time I was working at on the graduate scheme, which picture this was a gray suit with orange tie and orange shirt. And the nurse had just told me that I, um, I'd been diagnosed with HIV. And so in that moment, I remember really clearly, everything kind of started to, to slow down, time froze for a moment. I could feel my, my heart beating fast. I could feel this, this fear and panic and despair in my body. I could, could, could feel my breath, my, the blood pumping through my body, right through in my ears. And in that moment, as time slowed down in this timeless space, I felt this warmth, I felt this light, I felt this, this knowing in my core, in my heart, in my belly. And it was either a voice or a knowing or a real sense that everything was fine. Everything was unfolding as it needed to unfold, that I would be fine and that Everything was in alignment. Everything was okay. And it was really clear. I remember that so intensely. I can connect to that. And then time started to expand again. And it could have been a second later. It might have been moments later. The nurse then said, and you'll be fine. Nowadays, HIV is like diabetes. It's treatable. And you can live a normal, healthy life. And I really remember that sense of being held, of being guided to that point, even amongst this very dark time, this very dark moment. So this, this diagnosis kickstarted a whole journey for me, um, having to deal with uh, the stigma of the condition, also to the stigma, the difficulty of loving myself, intimacy, sexuality, what a whole plethora of healing, really, and transformation that came with it. And it led me to what I'm, I'm doing today through that, through helping others. Because what I realized in that moment was that even in those darkest of times, in those times of crisis, in those times when we feel the most despair and loss and confusion, our soul is there, this uh, our connection with this divine love, divine force, divine intelligence is always here in our core, enveloping us and guiding us and holding us and supporting us. And it gave me something very profound that I continue to carry to this day. And I've had other experiences um, along the way. What well, This was really a turning point for my life in many ways turning point to get better, quote unquote better, to, to explore myself, to, to release um, stigma, to release um, behaviors and patterns where I wasn't loving towards myself. It also kick-started a bit of a destructive time, and that happens to a lot of people who diagnose with HIV. But I was able, thanks to some support that I received from coaches and healers around me, to navigate that and to come to the work that I do today um, on the on that path, I've helped hundreds of people to to come home to that connection, to that inner guidance and that inner wisdom and that inner love that is always there, the soul, our core, uh, 
guiding us and holding us. So that's, that's why I'm doing what I do today, which is guiding others to do the same, either through times of crisis, times of confusion and loss, but also times when people are feeling like there's more. It doesn't always have to come through such dark um, crises. Um, it can also be an invitation, a whisper, a sense that there's more to us, there's more to life. And when we align with that guidance, with that wisdom, whatever that means for us, whatever it's saying for us at the time, that's when we can, we can connect to our potential and we can navigate all this craziness of life with as much clarity and peace as possible along the way of going through the challenges um, that are gifts for us to align and expand at a deeper level. So all that to say that this is what I, why I do what I do today. And if you're feeling going through a dark time, through a crisis, through struggle, but also if you're going just simply through a transition time, which might not, as I say, come through such a dark experience, but you're feeling that there's more to you, that you want to, to come home to that, that warmth, that guidance of the soul then I would love to connect with you. Um, you can book consultations through my website, uh, thedivinealignment.be, either a free 20-minute chat or a 60-minute consultation for 50 euros, which you can find on my website. Thank you for listening to this little story. Have a beautiful day, and I look forward to speaking with you soon. Bye.